So far, E. coli has killed one person in the U.S. At least 121 people have reported illnesses since the nationwide romaine lettuce recall. Those cases are spread out across 25 states, including one case in Tennessee. And it all stems from lettuce that was grown in Yuma, Arizona. Nick Austin talked to one local farmer about the measures they take to try to ensure their products stay safe. Nick. Greg Latrice, safe farming practices have a lot to do with preventing E. coli outbreaks. If the soil and water become contaminated, lettuce fields can turn into breeding grounds for the dangerous bacteria. At least one local farm is doing everything to keep this from happening here. E. coli lives in all of us, but typically does no harm. However, the recent outbreak is due to an unusually potent strain. It can cause nausea, vomiting, bloody diarrhea, and can lead to even kidney failure. Healthy adults often recover within a week, but in some cases it's been deadly. Bev Fulbright at the Chattanooga Hamilton County Health Department says E. coli is usually caused by careless farming practices. The soil can be contaminated, the water used in the fields can be contaminated, there can be animals in the field. Staff members at Crabtree Farms on Chattanooga's south side wash their hands often, use clean, naturally filtered well water for irrigation, and the few animals they have are kept far away from the crops. Executive Director Sarah McIntyre says being small and local leads to better quality control compared to many large farms. I can track my lettuces and know exactly when each lettuce is going to be ready. I can watch it week after week after week. The lettuces are washed, packaged, and stored immediately after harvesting, further eliminating the risk of contamination. You, you can't have an epidemic when you sell to 300 people and you know them by name. Fulbright says lettuces like romaine are easy targets because they're one of the most popular produce items and they're rarely cooked. No matter where you buy them, follow these easy steps before eating them. Well, the best thing to do is to wash your hands well and then just rinse the lettuce under running water um, and rinse it well. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, from 2010 through the current outbreak, nine outbreaks have been caused by green lettuces or sprouts compared to 12 from all other food groups, including meat, flour, and prepared products. Live in the studio, I'm meteorologist Nick Austin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Nick, thanks so much for that update there. Well, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports this is the worst outbreak of E. coli since 2006. When illness is traced to spinach killed three and sickened more than 270. Contaminated food is an extremely common problem. The CDC estimates that germs in food make 48 million Americans sick every year. That's one out of six people. About 128,000 are sick enough to be hospitalized and 3,000 deaths are reported each year.